Good. Take a look and see where those temperatures are now. Uh, see if your heater's kicking on and off in your house tonight. Uh, well, the blue's starting to show back up, and some spots are back into the upper 30s. By the way, normal lows this time of the year, upper 30s. So this is uh, not surprising or out of the ordinary out there. 43 at the airport, 42 in Salem, uh, 37 down in Wellsville tonight. I'm expecting these temperatures to dip on down to the mid 30s uh, through first thing tomorrow morning. Uh, the clouds have been building in, and that'll be a trend right into tomorrow as the next storm system uh, shoves northward tonight out of the south. And this is the remnants of what was uh, Hurricane Patricia uh, spreading out a little and not as powerful as it was, of course, <laughs> moving across Mexico. But what's going to happen is this storm is going to interact with a big storm system diving out of the northern plains. And this storm will basically scoop this system up and swing it through here. And then we got to deal with that storm itself. That'll be Thursday. First, we have to deal with this mess uh, to our south, and that means heavy rainfall pushing in our direction. So here's the way it shapes up. Uh, through the rest of tonight, still a lot of clouds around. The temperatures into the 30s and then uh, boosting right back into the 40s tomorrow morning. Uh, a few clouds around, some peaks of sunshine. Tomorrow stays dry through the daylight hours. As we go into late evening, there is the chance. Here's 6 o'clock for southern Columbiana County to pick up a light shower or sprinkle. A much better chance for that rain to move on in overnight into Wednesday morning. The wind will continue to pick up too, and moderate rainfall expected by the time you start Wednesday morning. Look at this mess. So that's a lot of yellow. That is moderate rainfall. Uh, Wednesday looks like a washout for us. Looks like it's going to be wet uh, almost from start to finish, and even the chance for some thunderstorms into Wednesday afternoon. There's a look at noon into the afternoon. Some of that red showing up even more heavy rainfall and the gusty wind and a chance of a thunderstorm before the rain finally tapers off a little into early Thursday morning. That's when the cool air rushes in. Here's rain tracker though through Thursday better than an inch of rainfall inch and a quarter to an inch and a half possible before this system's out of here and most models are coming together in that department of uh, just over an inch wind gusts up to 30 to 40 miles per hour. If you have neighbors to your south or southwest that have a lot of trees, their leaves are coming in your direction here because the wind will continue to blow out of the southwest, blowing those leaves off to the northeast, and it stays gusty right into Thursday with those cooler temperatures moving in. So a mess moving in our direction here Wednesday into Thursday. Not tonight, though. 35 degrees, uh, quiet weather out there, just a few clouds tomorrow. Upper 50s, 20% chance of an isolated evening shower. A better chance moving in our direction tomorrow night, as I indicated with that heavy rainfall. A temperature of 63 on Wednesday. Windy with rain likely, chance of thunder. Wind gusts up to 30 plus miles per hour right into Thursday. Cooler, highs of 50. We stay at 50 on Friday, but more sunshine. Halloween looks dry at least until Saturday evening. Then the showers return as the clocks go back Saturday night, Sunday, scattered rain showers around upper 50s, right back into the mid 60s Monday, and we warm up uh, quite a bit into early next week. Can I just say I hope Wednesday is also not a wipeout. I've learned from experience that when the rain comes down, you slip on those oh. leaves very, very oh, easily. Yeah. Even Ooh. driving. Yeah, that's right. It gets yeah. very dangerous this yeah. time of the year. Yeah. Good so call. Just be careful. <laughs> Don't wipe out. <laughs> no.